Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and uh, here's your watch list for June 14th. Sorry for the delay in the video, but it was my wife's birthday, so we were out celebrating. Uh, the Dow Jones hit a new high, all-time high for the Dow Jones. Uh, some markets leading the way. Uh, IWM pushed up yesterday, so you see there's a nice continuation move in the IWM, and we are holding above the 5 EMA right now. IWC, the micro caps, also holding up above the 5 EMA and headed up near highs on the IWC, and that's the micro caps. So if you trade those small stocks, this is what you want to see. The Qs, on the other hand, um, are lagging right now. Uh, you know, the tech stocks since Friday last week have been getting um, hit, but they are trying to recover, but still remain below the 20 and the fast-moving averages, as you can see on the daily chart here on the QQQ. Uh, the overnight uh, futures chart, uh, you see the Dow futures up 14 and a half. The S&P futures up uh, less than a point, and the NASDAQ up about two points on the uh, NASDAQ. Some information that came out after the closing bell. Top insider purchases, uh, we had ACFS, CRVS, CEO, purchased 25K shares at 988. Keys Director purchased uh, 13,000 uh, shares at 37.81. CLPR Director purchased 83K at 11.25. And SCM CEO purchased 14K at 13.43. Some syndicate news, syndicate news that came out. Uh, AEL prices 500 million senior notes. LOXO proposes public offering. Uh, SQNS um, proposed underwritten public offering and lastly trp filed a form f10 uh, 100 million common shelf offering so that was some news that came out um, after the bell yesterday and uh, we had the api crude numbers um yeah api crude numbers come out and it was a build so uh, last i looked at oil uh, uso and whatnot it was down on the uh, crude build so let's go ahead and get right into the watch list. Get this out of the way. And uh, first stock I have up that you may want to keep on your watch for um, Wednesday, June 14th, is uh, APTO. Had a nice pop. See if we get a continuation move or an intraday setup on APTO. 2.3 million shares came in. Uh, BBY, it's been quiet after the earnings, but it is trying to hold the gap up and the 20 SMA. So we had a nice pop up to around the 62 area. We've pulled back to the 20 SMA. Let's see if we can get some follow through through uh, 58 on BBY. Uh, Ballard Power, uh, we spoke about this one in a previous video. So we are trying to take out this three spot on Ballard Power. We have a 304 high, so maybe 306 is enough to get uh, this one going with uh, 1.6 million shares traded on Tuesday. So one to watch, it's above the 50 and the fast moving averages and the 200 is starting to turn up. BTX, nice pop, biotech stock. Uh, we got as high as about 350 on the name. So I'm thinking a 345 might be enough to get it going or watch for the 350 break or wait for an intraday setup. Close to 1 million shares traded in BTX. So, uh, you know, starting to break out of this resistance here. You can draw the trend line and you see that resistance line. We're above it now and we're above this congestion. But we came back to it. So we'll see if we can get some kind of continuation move. CAMT, this has been a big runner. Um, you see all the days up on the daily chart here. Yesterday we had close to 2 million shares traded. Looks like they're trying to hold this $5, $5.25 spot. Uh, be looking for a break of $6 on the name, C-A-M-T, and see if we can get a continuation move. Uh, C-A-R, uh, almost 7 million shares traded, trying to get back over 24. So I'll have this on watch for an intraday setup on C-A-R. Uh, C-C-I-H. Also had big pops here, a pop here, 
<clears throat> we talked about how the 100 SMA was in the way on CCIH, but it's pulled back now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're trying to hold this 125 spot. So we may try to get over, say, 135 to get a continuation move at least back up to the 100 SMA on CCIH. CDTX, uh, looking for the break over this, um, we'll call it 690 for possible break of 70. The 50 SMA is at uh, 686, so 690 might be enough to break through 70. Uh, I'm sorry, 70, $7. Um, the volume was a little bit light though yesterday, 129,000 shares on CDTX, so that's my only flaw with that one. CLNT, nice pop. I traded this one yesterday, and I got a nice trade in this name, 3.3 million shares. We'll see how it sets up intraday. Dries, believe it or not, is on my list. Um, it popped yesterday, but the thing I'm looking at here is this volume that came in, 15 million shares. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, eyes on dries right now. And uh, I do have another shipper on watch also. So we'll see how this sets up intraday for DRYS. Uh, Etsy, a lot of call action. Uh, the Nigerians mentioned this name with a lot of call action in the name. Possible chatter and takeover rumors around ETSY. So for this one, let's see what the high on of the day on uh, Tuesday was. 13.89, we closed 13.74. 1375 over that 1380 might be enough to get it going and then we'd want the break of $14 on uh, Etsy FCSC uh, came up to the 300 uh, SMA and pulled back and uh, we've had quite a run we'll see if this can pull back to maybe 275 270 area or back down to the 5 EMA which is at uh 268 so we'll call it 270 and see if we can get a trade in the name on uh fc fcsc all right um not a lot of volume in the name but is very strong so glbs uh this one we'll see if it can percolate and follow dries and see if any of the other shippers can get going intraday so i'm looking for this one to take out 145 and a possible break of 150 on GLBS. GTXI. You see we had this big pop here uh, the other day. And now we've pulled back to the 100 SMA. And if you check my Twitter feed, I said watch GTXI as it pulls back to the 100 SMA. And um, that's exactly what it did. So if you're not in this name, though, it closed at 482. So if it can turn and break back over $5 on the name GTXI, uh, we might get a continuation move up. Almost 3 million shares traded. Um, if it pulls back more, watch for the 5 EMA to be hold as support. And that price is 437 on uh, the 5 EMA for GTXI. Uh, after the bell, HRB uh, had earnings. So I'll have this one on watch, see if it can... Do a continuation move on a h and r block uh, they had good earnings they beat on revenues they beat on um on the bottom line and whatnot so we'll see if this can continue on h and r block htz same reason as a uh, cars they've been so beat up uh, as far as you know the downturn and we had 15 million shares traded in the name we're looking for the high a day break on this one 982 so maybe 990 gives us the break of $10 on HTZ. KLDX, small name, um, trading below the 400 moving averages. Has a high from Tuesday of 363. And we have uh, almost 3 million shares traded in the name. It's above the fast moving averages. It's above the 50 um, SMA. So we'll see if this one can give us a continuation move or possibly pull back to maybe that 340 um, area and then maybe continue on up on KLDX. MEIP, a lower volume play, uh, looking for that 205 break. So we'll see if MEIP can continue up and break 205 for a possible continuation through the highs from Tuesday has a high of uh, 209 so maybe 205 will be enough on this name 
I uh, would like the volume to be a little higher, but um, you know, we'll see if this can pick up volume if it takes out that 205 level. MOSY was in play all day yesterday. Uh, 21 million shares traded in the name. Nice pop. We'll have it on the chart today to see if it can set up. Uh, MVIS, uh, this one is holding the 150 SMA. We pulled back. You see it had highs of $3 and it's pulled back to the, to excuse me, the 150 SMA, this dotted line, orange. That's the 150 SMA. So we'll see if this can continue up. It had a high of uh, 189, so I'm looking for a 190 break with possible break of $2. Not the best chart, but um, we'll see if we can get a continuation move uh, in MVIS. Not my favorite, though. Uh, NADL, depending on what oil does, if this can break back up above 250 on NADL, uh, we could get a possible continuation move. Just note that the 200 SMA has been resistance uh, in the name, so uh, just keep that in mind uh, if oil does turn. OHGI has been setting up holding the fast moving averages. I'm looking for it to take out a dollar twenty-five to get some continuation. The volume has been a little bit low, but uh, if it breaks this one twenty-five spot, it could get a nice continuation move in OHGI. It's given some nice big moves, but just be aware that it does, um, you know, pop and then pull back. SGYP. Slowly but surely getting over the 50 SMA on the name. Looking for the 425 break. 4.3 million shares traded in the name yesterday. We're above all the fast moving averages. We're above the 50 SMA. So if we can clear that 425, we may get a continuation move. SORL, after they reported earnings, we had the big gap up and then we had a nice continuation move all the way up to close to um, $10 a share. Now we've pulled back and I see this hammer candle. The uh, price above this hammer, the high on the hammer was 755. So if we can get back over 755, we could get a continuation move in SORL. Um, there is chatter around the name um, and it was a very strong stock. So it's kind of pulled back to this $7 area. And so we'll see if we can get a continuation move in SORL. SPWR, here's the daily. And you see the um, the wedge pattern that's forming and also the consolidation. So if this can get back over, I'm going to look at this candle right here. Uh, has a high of 836. We closed at 810. And we have a high for uh, Tuesday of 818. So I think if it can get back over 825, um, 830, we could get a continuation move in SPWR. So it's trying to set up here, and I'll open the chart up a little bit. 1.4 million shares traded. So we want it to get above this congestion of, you know, 825, 830. And uh, we'll see if this can give a continuation move. Uh, VVUS had volume yesterday, and it is trying to hold the 150 SMA. You see all these, you know, bottoming wicks, um, shadows here at 115. So I'm thinking if this one can take out the highs, for Tuesday, which were 121, so we'll call it 125. If it can get over 125, we could see a continuation move in VVUS. Um, this would be more of a swing trade. It doesn't, um, you know, give a lot of movement during the day, but it could be a possible um, swing trade. Uh, Whiting Petroleum was coming up nicely, so we're going to have to see how oil performs tomorrow. Um, it was coming up off the bottom around, you know, that's five fifty six dollars $6 area. And I was looking for the break over the 13 EMA on the name, which would have been uh, six eighty, dollars So six ninety dollars for the possible $7 break. But we're going to have to see what the USO and oil, uh, WTI oil does. So crude oil, you'd have to be watching that. 28 million shares uh, traded on the name. And uh, we'll see if there's a continuation move in this. Uh, X, once again, will be on watch. Looking for it to take out that 22.33, 22.35 spot. So um, U.S. deal may be trying to fill this gap. And uh, it is kind of in this fry pan bottom. We just need the turn up now on uh, X U.S. deal. And also keep AK, AKS. 
can keep this on watch also if you like the steel names. Uh, and last one is XGTI. Um, you know, this 150 SMA has been resistance. It hit it here and uh, pulled back. We had uh, over 3 million shares traded. So we're looking for this break of a 206 high. So we'll call it 2208 on the name XGTI. And then we do have the 200 SMA up here at 250. So just keep that in mind on XGTI. All right, that's it for the watch, watch list. Sorry for the lateness, but uh, was out with, with uh, the wife taking her out for her birthday and whatnot. So, uh, you know, priorities, right? All right. So thank you very much for listening. This has been Zozo Stockwatch, and um, hope you have a very good day.